get that. Okay, folks, I've had a, a thousand service calls over the last couple of years, and it's always water, condensate, condensate, condensate. Water's always causing the issues here. So I come up with something one night. I seen the wife cooking something at, in the uh, house. It's called food coloring. This particular one happened to be green. You can green, purple, orange. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to pour it in the bottle. And what I'm going to do here, just so you know, you're thinking, what in the world is he doing? It's going to be a marker. I'm going to put a trace in. This particular unit is in a condo complex. It's upstairs. As you see the condensate run down the wall, it goes into this wall, it goes down another wall, underground, it comes out at least a hundred feet or more outside. This particular lady has had several problems with condensate. It seems like I have to come up here every five or six months to blow it out. One of the problems is that one of the problems is this is fire rated plenum pipe. It's called CPVC. And that's part of Florida Building Code. You see, once you penetrate the wall here, you can actually go with regular PVC, Schedule 80 or Schedule 40 in this case. But anyway, I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to actually pour it into the coil pan. Then I'm going to go outside and see how long it takes for that to drain outside. Okay? Okay, there you go, folks. Sometimes you might have to pour two or three of these, depending on how quick the water flows. Another thing I want to point out here, in this particular case, we have a clean-out port here for the owner to pour Clorox down this right here to keep the stuff built up and keep it moving, okay? Because sometimes the algae collects in these traps right here, which causes the owner more issues. Okay, let's go outside and see how we're doing. Yes. Okay, folks, here's what you got. You see that green water? Okay, I timed this. We put three 16 bottle, ounces of bottle of water into the drain because it was about 100 feet. So now I know I have flow from my air handler to my drain. You see this green coloring? So I don't have to worry about this lady here. She's in good shape here. So if you ever have any questions about how this works, called Jones Air Conditioning Electric, but I really recommend you technicians and you installers out there, anytime you change out a system, put this in, blow the drains out, put them back and put it on, do the dye test, because the number one callback is going to be water, especially in high humid areas. If you have any questions, give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning and Electrical, 239-596-5855 or jonesairconditioning.com. Thank you.